Hello, I'm Slickum from Slick here again and in part 6 of the basic tutorials for Elite Dangerous we're gonna take a look at how to make some money by flying around and going to unidentified signal sources and see what's going up at that. Okay, in the last tutorial we talked about refining and mining and the refinery I had had only one refinery bin in them so you can only take in one mineral at a time i was presuming then that you could buy uh, other refineries with had more bins and take a look at this i found one that has four refinery bins so if you get um, a real into mining uh, you have to get one of these they are pretty expensive uh, there are more the next, second one is uh, 40 54000 credits and has two bins so you can mine two minerals at once okay so what i did now is sold my mining laser and got myself a couple of gimbal burst lasers and i'm gonna <clears throat> fly out into space and then show you um, the idea behind unidentified signal source um, i can tell you a little bit about them uh, unidentified signal source is just something in space and it's unidentified so you have absolutely no idea what's going up there and basically what you can find is let me get out of the spaceport and docking okay so what you can find is um, mercenary ships um, that are wanted and those are the ones you want if you want to be a bounty hunter um, there can be cargo ships if you have a cargo scanner you can scan them what's in them and you can attack them destroy them and uh, steal their cargo or maybe you can open up with the limpet the cargo hold of them and there are various ways uh, to make money out of them so engage drive Friendship let's go into uh, super cruise and hopefully we can Four, spot three, on uh, two, USS one, pretty soon engage. Okay, so we are in Super Cruise, and what I will do is just pick a planet to go to. Don't go too fast. Go to your navigation, and you will hopefully there we go, an unidentified signal for source, and you have to select it, and then fly to it. Let me see what it is. Get out of Super Cruise. And let's see what we have here. It's a Laken type 9 heavy. And this is the Technology Acquisitions Inc. Um, soon he will just tell me that uh, he is buying or selling technology. There you go, up front in the comms. I cannot contact it, so maybe it's a feature for in the future. Okay, so let me go to Super Cruise again. Engage drive. Frameshift drive. There we go. Charging. Four, three, two, one. Engage. This can take uh, some time, a couple of times, to find one that is useful. So I'm gonna try to find another one. There we have it. It's over here, so let's approach it. And if you approach, I didn't talk about that. Talked about that in earlier version. If you approach something, um, you see the seconds below it. Never let it go above six seconds, or you will overfly it. Disengage drive. Let's voice tag again. What do we have here? Ah. Uh, it's a group and I can tell you it's a wedding barge or maybe a funeral ship like this a lot of people die and they have to be hauled around so we don't have anything to do here sometimes they get attacked and you are in luck um, um, but this time uh, nothing happens engage drive what I'm gonna show you is next one because we are close to big ships um, 2.6 kilometers um, the gravity will give you a pull on them if you go above three kilometers or higher it will fade away and you will go to 
your jump drive immediately. That's very important to notice if you want to run from uh, an enemy or from uh, someone that is attacking you and you cannot win. Put everything in maximum power to your uh, engines and get the hell out of there. But you have to be at least three kilometers from them to charge your uh, FSD drive quickly. If not, it will charge slowly. You will sorry, build up a lot of heat. Okay, let's see if we can find a new one. Just fly around a little and hopefully we will find one soon. Let's go to that part. And if it's taking too long I will pause the record and come back to you when I did find something of interest or else it will be a very boring tutorial to watch. Like it's getting now. So I will pause the video for a moment and come back at you when I find something of interest. Be right back. So I'm approaching an USS, and as you can see, another one pops up next to it. Um, I didn't find any rhythm in if that one is better or not. Um, I always intend to go with the one I selected the, the first time and if we reach within range we get out again just wanted to note sometimes three or four can up this is a lake on type 9 heavy again if you turn towards it you will see this is the one we encountered before so let me get back to you when I find an USS that is interested enough to tell about again be right back again Okay, so welcome back. I find a USS that is interesting or can be interesting and this one doesn't have an enemy to attack but it has contraband. Um, it has cargo you can pick up and make money on. It's free and um, if you go to contacts you will see what is currently around you. So um, it is illegal but it, you can make a lot of money out of them. But you need uh, to go to the black market. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you the black market. Deploy scoop. Deploying cargo scoop. Here of course you can use the scoop to pick them up. I can only pick up four of course because I have a small cargo hull. But just let's pick a couple of up. And then try to find this one. Be aware of course that if you are getting scanned by a federation ship and you find and they find these you will get a, f a fine it, it, it's not much in the beginning but uh, about 200 or 300 credits so make sure that you have uh, contraband in your hull that it's worth the fine of course okay so let me pick this one up cargo is full we checked scoop Retracting cargo scoop. There we go. And I will cargo find. Thank you. I will come back when I find uh, a wanted person. Be right back. Okay, so I find one that is probably gonna be interesting. There are a couple of ships flying around. And as you can see, this one is wanted. So. Oh. Let me get my fire groups correct. At the moment, so you basically would do is hit him. Ah, crap! Let me get my fire groups. Ah, there we go. So just keep on hitting him. Maximum power to weapon. Maximum power to weapons. 
it's a sign widener just as me but he doesn't have any and as you can see the gimbal uh, lasers I've got uh, it's probably gonna jump on me um, the gimbal is tracking it automatically and then shooting it even if I'm not pointing directly at it he's shooting back at me It's not the best example of how to take one down, but these are not the best weapons I have equipped. But it's just to show you how to make money. As you can see, even if the target is not right in front of you, it will take damage. There we go because my gimbal lasers are tracking him and as you can see we made 1400 credits with shooting down this guy and the amount of credits you um, are making is dependent on uh, the bigger the enemy if it's an expert uh, if it's a novice if it's uh, I was attacking an, a signed winder but you can also attack an eagle for an instance and then you will get much more money the mo most I got um, from attacking someone was uh, around 25,000 it was uh, a villain in a Cobra MK3 and I shot him down not with a sign binder of course but with my Viper which is a lot stronger okay in the distance you'll see uh, someone flying around still so let's go to him very quick you have to be within a certain range to scan him and he must not be within there we go it's a sign winder as well and it's wanted as well as you can see on the left side it's a novice and probably if I take him down I will not get that much credit but credits are credit so let's take him down Maximum power to weapon. Maximum power to weapon. I forgot that. Frame shift charge detected. Okay, so I, hopefully I can get him down. He's done dumping his cargo. I need to get real close on him. I think he's gonna jump on me. These lasers don't do it for me. okay so I lost him as you can see here you have a high energy FSD wake and if you have a wake scanner like I showed you in part 3 you can um, track them down and continue their pursuit so these are rebel transmissions I have absolutely no idea how much they are worth and natural fabrics they are cheap okay so Let's get back to a station and I will show you how to collect your bounties and I will show you how to sell your illegal goods. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are at Fair Baron Station. If you are starting in the LHS uh, for, uh, 3447 like I am now, uh, the Fair Baron Station is uh, pretty much the easiest or the, the most safe way to hold contraband and sell it to the black market they don't give you the best prices to be honest but there are no federal security vessels around so you will not get scanned okay so let's refuel always refuel when you get into a starport and if you go to the um, contacts you will see here oh there is no black market at the moment so I have to go back to or to another station and sell it there but I can show you here the um, bounty that we collected as you can see if you go to local security office you can redeem your bounty vouchers and this is how you sell it and you make money so let me go to another station there was a black market here before um, but I'm 
think the one that is in the black market has arrested. I don't know. So let me go to another station. Hopefully I arrive there um, uh, safely and I can show you how to sell on the black market. I'll be back again. Okay, so welcome back. I went to the Warlich terminal. Um, pretty dangerous because um, I was scanned in the meantime, but I went to Silent Running and they couldn't find me over there anymore. So uh, I made it. Uh, Silent Running will be covered probably in another tutorial. But if you go to Black Market, I want to sell illegal goods. You'll see what you have. And you'll see you can make a lot of money out of them. Excuse me for the door dogs. You sell them. And that's it. You made money. Okay, that's it for now. Next tutorial will be about bounty hunting. And hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And see you in space. Bye bye.